Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 13 of Let's Play Soul Blazer, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Alright, welcome to the world of evil, although I do realize I'm missing something that I could have gotten in Madrid Castle. The six stones started to shine and were swallowed into the Aurora. I just got those too. So there, the world of evil has now been revealed. MGG, the gate to the world of evil finally opened. But you need the Phoenix's help to defeat Death Tall. When the Phoenix joins you, the palace of Death Tall will appear in the world of evil. MGG, try to find the three symbols. Well, there's something else I need to find first. So I'm going to leave. And we're going to head back to the castle. I'm trying to remember where this is. Is this where the Queen and I first met? Or is this where the Queen actually dies? Because I gotta go to one of those two places. I just need to remember what one it is. I think it's it in the, uh, the dock area. I'm trying to remember, which house was it that had the Queen? I think it was the one up here? If I'm not mistaken. The invulnerable bracelet where the queen was standing. Yes, this was the spot. So you had to, like, uh, trigger that cutscene with the queen. And then you could go here and get the item. So the invulnerable bracelet, or the super bracelet, your sword and armor will increase in strength by two. So it'll give you attack and defense rather than just one or the other. So we only have two out of three red hot items for the Phoenix. Well, I guess we'll just have to look for the other one. Which, believe it or not, is in the world of evil. Oh wow, quick level up. That's very helpful. Can't do anything about those statues. We can only just find a way to, like, free up a monster lair. Oh! Alright, let me go to the bell for a little while. Maybe I'll just use magic for a little bit. So we only just freed up a chest, it looks like. Oh god, these, these bugs are annoying. Cause they keep just trying to front on ya. And they stay invisible for a while until they reach their destination, too. Wow, I still got shot. What the frick? That ain't right. I need to find the source of that lair, too. Oh, hello. Only 200 gems. Well, as long as I have the bell on, I don't have to worry about gems. So let's find out where the rest of the monsters are. There should be some over this way. Too bad I can't fight back against those statues, like, really. Because I have to dodge fireballs all the time now. Okay, I do see a chest, but I don't know if I can reach it right away. So let me go around the long way and find a way to go. Okay, I thought I'd just loop back at the beginning. Oh wait, I did, kinda. This is not where I want to go. Damn it, I just got myself turned around. Okay, so I still see monsters. There's one right there. So it looks like I do have to go this way. I'm by me, I guess. And there's both sets of monsters, too. Like those demons and the giant flies. That should probably eliminate both statues. There we go. Of 
course it would spawn right there. Why wouldn't it spawn right there? <laughs> Okay, I gotta wait for the magic to go away. There we go. I guess I can just do that. Actually, you know what? No, I'll keep the bell. But I'm gonna switch uh, magic. Okay, the tornado actually kind of sucks for this. Had to do it like that. <laughs> Not a big fan of it, but I had no choice. Okay, I, I see what I need to do. It still says there's one lair. Where's the other monster for it? I didn't see one. I do want to get rid of it as soon as possible. Like, you know, without having to leave. Maybe I need to approach the lair to get a monster out of there. Because I don't see anything else wandering around. Oh, it's probably this guy. There it is. Now we can get to that chest. Okay, I hope it was worth the trouble. I'm sure it was. A medical herb. Well, that's all the layers in this room. So, I think we'll take the other teleporter. Actually, do I have a better spell? Yeah, I'll use the rotator. The red hot ball! There's the- There's the uh, third and final item. So I needed this to get over here. To find Death Tall's palace. So if I remember correctly, it needs to be brought to the king in this area. So let me deal with that right now. Now that I have all three items. I think you have the magic of the phoenix, right? You made it! MGG, I shall call the phoenix. Oh, it's getting hot in here. MGG received magic of phoenix! <laughs> High above in the sky, a beautiful voice could be heard. I am the phoenix. I live on the mountain of souls. I will help you revive the world and protect the peace. As soon as I was called, Death Tall moved into position. Alright, so now his palace is revealed. So yeah, if you didn't have this magic, you can't face Death Tall. MGG, return to the world of evil with the Phoenix. If you equip Soul Blade and Soul Armor, Phoenix will be able to help you. This is the final battle. The fi battle with Death Tall. Please come back alive. Okay. Unfortunately, I have neither the blade or the armor. So I gotta go to the world of evil to find this. So with that, let's head on back. I went the wrong way. It's actually right here. <laughs> Duh. Alright, it's time for the final push. We don't need to go anywhere else in the game. This is for all the marbles. Okay, so we still gotta walk all the way back to, like, the uh, next teleporter. Wherever that was. I didn't even see the way to the next screen. It's probably up here. Let me go as far up as I can. I think- oh! Is that it? I'll just pass this? Yeah, it is. Okay. Watch out for those, uh, fireballs over there. They go in an arc. Dang it! 
Damn. <laughs> that is something else. <laughs> Okay, hopefully this will... Okay, allows me to get back up. Oof. There, I just wanted to aggro the trap, but then I can move on. No. No. Don't even try it. Wow, if you sit over here, they can't even fight back. How sad is that? I mean, I only had to get rid of one of them, but I wanted to get rid of both. I think that's the last of those fire traps. Okay, I see slaps, I can't do anything. Wow! It's just going somewhere I can't really kill it easily. I just gotta lure it that way. You can't kill those slaps, by the way. At least not with your current weaponry. We need to find the soul blade to do that. Which means the only thing you can do is dodge them. So you have to find the one opening that's available and then take it. So that you don't get hurt. It's a bit of an annoying way to do things, but you gotta do it to survive. Also, don't go to the third area because you need the soul armor. If you don't have it, you will definitely get destroyed. Okay, so I didn't find the armor. Let me see if I can find the armor. You know what? I think that's it. That's the armor. Okay. Enables you to walk in space. I think I was better off just not taking those hits. Yeah, if you're standing in this area, as soon as you see, like, those ghosts, they will hurt you automatically. That's why you need the armor. Okay, that's gonna be a bit annoying to get past. I don't know if that's going to be easy. It's like, you have to get there on the tightest of squeezes. Like, it's doable, but it's hard. I'm just going to wait till this guy's completely emptied. Before I go. Uh, more flies for real? Okay, I think that's it. Wait. Alright, let's go. Wow. Okay, I think I need to go up for this. Yeah, let's just go up. Hey, another level up. Just at the right time, too. Okay, there's the way to Death Tall's lair. And there's no more monster lairs to deal with. I still don't have the Soul Blade, though. So I'm thinking it's down to the southeast. That's the one part of this region that I didn't check. Let's head over there now. Is this it? Yep, there's the soul blade. Alright, so now we can put it on. It says I have to be level 24. Wait, I am level 24. Nice! Now you can take care of those slabs. And if you really want to level grind, this is where you would go to do it. Just keep killing those slabs over and over.
Necessary gem two. Not with the magic bell. So that's the power of the phoenix. It's a projectile attack. Alright, here we go. The battle of the death toll. <laughs> like, we're already at the final boss. The poor creature that repeats transmigration of the soul that cannot die. I will put you in a deep sleep. No, you won't. Okay, its attack pattern is very similar to Poseidon's. Some people believe being constantly reincarnated means everlasting suffering. Being alive is suffering for some creatures. You will find out what I mean. Alright, now you gotta deal with Death Tall himself. So, in order to even damage this boss, you have to destroy all the flames, like all those flame pillars. Then it exposes the gem on its forehead. And you have to do all this while constantly dodging diagonal lasers. Yeah, because of the boss like this, if you didn't have Phoenix, you can't win. Luckily, it's not even a hard fight on its own. Sure, there's lots of lasers to dodge, but that's just it. And if you didn't have the magic bell, you'd constantly be getting gems back from the pillars. So you're not gonna find yourself in absolute harm's way. Oh, wow! I thought I was just away from the flames, and I still got hit. When they crisscross like that, it can be tricky to dodge. Because they don't always go the same way, but they spread out, so they're almost very likely to hit you. And they track sometimes! Alright, I'm gonna use an herb. So I will lose gems, but that's okay. Alright, maybe I should use the Super Bracelet for now. This might make it faster to kill him. Because I think the attack power also goes to magic. Oh my god, it knew I was going there. Oh, wow, right on top of me. How dare you? Okay, it's almost down. But then again, you can't tell because this boss is the only one that doesn't have a health bar. Only the first phase did. I feel like I got enough hits from that. It's kind of lame. I expected a bit more. Got him! It's over! Nice, first try. Finally, MGG defeated Death Tall. Suddenly, MGG heard a small voice. MGG, we decided to stay here and seal the world of evil. The world of evil is a dark world that exists in the back of creatures' minds. As long as there are inventions in this world, the same thing will happen. I will stay and try to stop as much as possible. You are still young. You should experience more. And if you figure out reasons for all feelings, all connections, and existences, you will be wise like the master. MGG, get going. The world of evil began to disappear. Alright, now for the ending. <coughs> MGG, you made it. All the creatures have been saved 
Every last one, thanks to you. Why don't you go and see the world and all it is creatures? <laughs> you finally made it! First of all, let me say thank you. I started to think of many things. I know this may sound strange, but in the human world, if a person kills one man, he is a murderer. However, if a person kills 100, then he is praised as a hero. Ah, uh, that's not always true! I became a king by this theory, but I always felt lonely. Even if I had many men and beautiful women around me, I felt alone. Now I realize no man can live by himself. I am going to spend all the money I received from Death Tall to construct and build a great town. This is my way of compensating the people I helped defeat. But I also want to build a town where people won't have anything to fear, and they can begin to believe in themselves. MGG, thank you very much. I will build statues of you and Dr. Leo in the center of town. I promise to tell every generation about your accomplishments. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> MGG, you made it! Dr. Leo can pass away peacefully. We tools exist to be used by human beings. We are happy if we're helpful to the humans. And we hurt if they use us in the wrong way. Even though we would like to tell them not to use us the wrong way, we cannot. This is very painful. But Dr. Leo understood our feelings. The tools Dr. Leo used must have been happy. Look at that cat wag wagging its tail. Oh, you're back! Well, I wasn't worried, but... Gnome was really worried about you. Gnome, say something. The king is such a thoughtless man. Dr. Leo has passed away. I miss him very much. There are creatures that only get one year to live. The value of life depends on the number of days spent with fulfillment. Maybe Dr. Leo's life was more fulfilled than many others. Uh, maybe it definitely was. MGG, thank you very much. Peace has returned here. To St. Alice. The dolphin, Lou, used to live with Dr. Leo. It's strange. Whenever he tells me about Dr. Leo and his daughter, Lisa, I miss him and sometimes find myself crying. Now Dr. Leo is gone. Lisa must be very lonely. Oh, here comes Lou. He must have heard your voice. I didn't say anything. Phew! MGG, why did you not visit me? I decided to return to my hometown, along with my friends. To tell you the truth, I am to be married. Hey, Lala, come in here. What would a dolphin wedding be like? Don't you think she is beautiful? I can't tell the difference. We will be happy together. MGG, I wish you luck. Turbo's grave is standing alone. <laughs> when MGG closed his eyes, he tried to imagine Turbo. 
And the other dog's like, oh god. Like, good sleep comes after hard work. Good rest comes after an honest life. I will rest well with Dr. Leo. Hope you're not sharing the same grave. It's like dog bones and gibbs of flesh. <laughs> Lisa appears to be sleeping. MGG, comma, place the dream rod upon Lisa's head. MGG, I thought I would meet you here. I am all alone. I know that as time passes, I will stop feeling lonely. My father used to tell me the key to happiness lies in patience, not in haste. I don't know whether you are an angel or a human, but I must ask you to do me a favor. I will not ask you to stay with me. Only promise me you will return someday. You could tell me a lie, but I feel our promise will give me hope for the future. Please, please promise me that you will one day return. I don't have a choice, so yes. Thank you. I wish this dream would never end. And, and I'm gone. MGG, promise me you will return someday. Grass Valley at sunset, the glistening ocean, the restored world was beautiful. All the creatures stopped and looked at the beauty of the sunset. Yes, every last one. Every one of them, even the fire-breathing lizards. One was with his child and one was with his friend. Creatures were in awe of the scenery. Suddenly, a light ray shot into the sky. However, no one noticed it. Lisa was standing all by herself. Wow, her face was really done up for somebody that just woke up. She used to feel lonely when she saw the sunset. But now, she thinks it is beautiful. She has to blink every four or five seconds, though. <laughs> Too much of the sunset would be a strain on her. Just like her father changed impossible to possible, Lisa feels she will be happy if she believes. That's Soul Blazer for the Super Nintendo for the uh, Much Games Hall of Fame. So what did you guys think about the game overall? I thought it was very enjoyable. In fact, it's probably one of the, uh, it's probably the best out of the three games in the Blazer trilogy. You know, along with Illusion of Gaia and Terra Enigma. So would I recommend this to anyone? Absolutely. Hope other people will get a chance to try this out, like maybe on a modern release. Or at least on a, uh, modern service, what I should clarify. 
But this is not even a hard game at all. I mean, once you know what you're doing, obviously, it's pretty easy. Some of the bosses can be tough. But it seems to be like that with nearly any game with less iframes. But in the end, this is the Bonga signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time. My follower, tell me what is on your mind. I do not know what has happened between you and that girl. However, being attracted to a human means that you have not yet established yourself as a heavenly creature. A year has now passed, but your feelings have not changed. Maybe you should try living as a human being, learning how they live. Be warned though, once you go down to Earth, you will lose all memory. Hey, Turbo! I feel something strange in the air today. What's wrong with me? MGG? Is that you? Oh my! I knew you would come back! What is wrong? Don't you remember me? No! I can't believe this! It's me, Lisa! Daughter of Dr. Leo the Inventor! Please! Don't you remember me? Well, okay. You have never lied to me. It's just hard to believe you lost all your memory. Alright, I won't ask you again. I guess I have to change my way of thinking. We can create many new and wonderful memories together. Okay, let me introduce myself. I am Lisa. And the goat behind me is Turbo. Come on, Turbo. Say hello. Hello. He looks like a dog I used to have. That is why I call him Turbo. Come, I will show you around. Hurry up, Turbo! Alright, and over here is the painting where there are monsters. The end. <laughs>